some pedestrian mobile experiments lately with the squid pole mounted quarterway vertical. My counterpoise was normally a bit of wire trailing behind me. A big problem was when I walked over different ground conditions the SWR varied greatly and sometimes I needed a ground tuning unit to compensate. It was all fairly unwieldy and not as good as carrying my portable magnetic loop. This time I'm going to try something different. Instead of walking all over the sand and into the water, I'll try and be a bit more consistent, walking ankle deep in salt water. Instead of a trailing counterpoise, I'll have this metal band around my ankle. That should provide more constant ground conditions and should mean I shouldn't have to adjust the antenna coupling unit all the time to get a good match. It's still a bit of a compromise. Salt water is more conductive than fresh water, but nowhere near as conductive as wire or metal radials. Still, it's about the best I can do pedestrian mobile without carrying something really heavy behind me. You've seen this thing before. It's my ground tuning unit, but modified to form an L match. All the same components are used, except that instead of the coil being in series with the variable capacitor, the variable capacitor is across the antenna side. A handy source of curved aluminium are these egg rings bought from a local op shop. With a hacksaw, split the aluminium ring and file off the burrs. Uh, 
OK, uh, Roger, John, uh, VK6, uh, PTU, Mobile, George 1, X-ray, Oscar, Whiskey. OK, thanks for the pedestrian mobile uh, correction there, John. Uh, solid, uh, solid copy here, but the band is quite noisy at the moment. Okay, Tom, surely, 7 0 0 QSL, 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 that is correct. QSL, over. QSL, QSL. Call, please. Please scan your call, but I can turn my head up. 